Hello and welcome to 7 Days. I'm Shah Shamshiri. We're going to have a quick look back at some of the biggest local and international stories of the last 7 days. Top of the show, the 8-year-long battle between the former Selangor Menteri Besar Dr. Muhammad Heer Toyo and the law will come to an end on September 29th. Dr. Muhammad Heer Toyo has offered to give free dental treatments to the poor for 1 to 2 years in lieu of serving jail time. He now awaits for his sentencing after he failed to set aside his conviction for corruption. The former Menteri Besar was charged with obtaining for himself and his wife two lots of land and a bungalow in Section 7 Shah Alam through Dita Ma Senior Berhad Director Shamsuddin Haironi. The land and house were bought at 3.5 million ringgit in contrast to the price of 6.5 million ringgit Dita Ma paid for on December 23, 2004. More on the Hay story, Indonesian authorities have revoked the licenses of four companies from their land clearing activities that sparked forest fires, sending smoke across a swath of Southeast Asia. Efforts to put out fires in the worst affected areas in Riau province has been ongoing. President Joko Widodo has ordered thousands of security personnel backed by helicopters to help fight the fires. Moving along further, in Brazil, Demonstrators set several buses on fire to demand for better transportation services in and around the city. At least six buses were engulfed in flames, while nine others damaged by demonstrators, hurling rocks and other objects, smashing windows and causing other damages. According to police, approximately 400 people participated in the demonstrations against the bus companies. The damage cost more than $2 million. He is hoping Malaysians do not imitate such acts when demonstrating. Meanwhile, in Texas, America, Ahmed Mohammed, a high school student of the Irving School District, who was arrested after he brought a homemade clock to school early in September, has become a star at the Google Science Fair in California. Mohammed's arrest made national headlines, prompting invites from the White House, Facebook and other tech companies. This led to the instant popularity he attained at the Google Science Fair. Ahmed Mohammed's parents say they've unenrolled their three children from the Irving School District because of religious persecution and have decided to homeschool them. Heading over to the Middle East, at least 700 Muslim pilgrims were killed on Thursday in a crush at Street 204 of the camp city in Mina, outside the Muslim holy city of Mecca, where some 2 million people were performing the annual Hajj pilgrimage, according to Saudi Arabia's Civil Defence Authority. It has traditionally been the most dangerous day of Hajj because vast numbers of pilgrims attempt to perform rituals at the same time in a single location. However, massive infrastructure upgrades and extensive spending on crowd control technology over the past two decades have made such events far less common. We would like to extend our deepest condolences to those who have lost their families during the incident. With that, we wrap up this week's edition of 7 Days and we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.